Richard Fletcher, I'm here with Walsall reporter at the Express and Star, Joe Massey. Um, so obviously Saturday, Dean Keats was dismissed as manager and there's been an announcement with the club today. Uh, yeah, probably probably as we all expected really. Uh, Martin O'Connor has come in for the final five games of the season. He takes charge with Andy Davis, who was also first team coach under Dean Keats. Michael Oakes as well, the goalkeeping coach, and John Ward. Um, it was vastly experienced. John Ward did a very good job when he was manager of Bristol Rovers. Um, yeah, he, they they sort of joined together as sort of a management committee, if you like, with obviously O'Connor leading it. Leading, he is he is the man in the hot seat, if you like. Um, I think we expected it probably after after Saturday. We had that very strange meeting, didn't we, with Jeff Bonser and Martin strange, O'Connor yeah. in the stands? Look, I know for a fact Martin O'Connor would have taken this with a heavy heart. He is very very good friends with Dean Keats. Very, very close. I know Keats wanted to appoint him, bring him into the club from the moment he got the job, essentially. Um, he finally got him in back in February, of course, but O'Connor, uh, O'Connor will, will be devastated to take this job in these circumstances. He absolutely will be. They're very, very, very close. So it's a tough job. It's a tough day. It's a tough job. It's still tough, I think. I mean, I'm still, I'm still devastated, really, by yeah. Keats' departure. Yeah. Really, really sorry to see him go. I know Martin, Connor, Martin O'Connor will be really, really sorry to see him go. Um, unfortunately, it's the nature of the beast, isn't it? Life goes on, football goes on. We've got absolutely five massive games um, to try and stay in League One. Starting with Accrington Stanley on Saturday, and it, it will be Martin O'Connor. He, he will be the front of this management committee. He is the man in charge, if you like, for that game. And wow, it is an absolutely massive game, and we'll see if he can get a reaction. It's huge. And we've, you know, we've seen O'Connor's personality since he's come in, um, You know, just by looking at him down on the touchline. Now he's the main guy. What? What sort of manager for these five games do you think he'll be? What will his style be? Um, I think he'll bang a few heads together, to yeah. be honest. First and foremost, um, he's a very, very infectious guy, Martin O'Connor. He's very loud, he's very bubbly, yeah. he's very, very friendly, but he won't mince his words. Um, I think one or two players today may have got a few home truths from him. Um, and he will, he will demand a reaction. He will demand, it, and it's going to be absolutely fascinating to see if he gets it from them. Um, we do a lot of things different to Keats. I don't think he will. I think they are very similar. Um, but he will certainly put a rocket at the players. I think we can assume that. I mean, Keats was very tough as well, but uh, Connor will put a rocket at the players. It's, it's very hard mm. to know. It's very hard to yeah. know how it's going to go from this stage on. But I think yeah, the team sheet on Saturday will obviously be very interesting, um, and I'm, I'm really sure some strong words would have been said at Essington today. So let's envisage a scenario in five, six weeks' time. Martin O'Connor's done very well. He's kept Walsall in the division, obviously an ideal scenario. Would we potentially see a possibility of him then taking the job on a permanent basis or has he been clear and saying, no, it's just for now? Um, well, no message from the club on that. We don't know. Um, look, it's a difficult one, though. It's a really, really difficult one. This isn't a great escape. If Martin O'Connor keeps Walsall up, he's done very, very well. Let's not... They, yeah. Walsall are in trouble. They're in real, real trouble. They're mm -hmm. in serious trouble going down. If Walsall, if O'Connor keeps us up, then he deserves a massive pat on the back. He's done a very good job. It's not. If he does it, there won't be a great escape. This isn't a Dean Smith survival. There's a couple of... It's not... Yeah. It's not like an Albion survival under Brian Robson. It is doable. We are only a point from safety. There are five games left to go. Four of them against teams around us. There are other teams in the division who are in free fall. So there are still reasons why Walsall can get out of this yeah. and why they should believe they can get out of it. So I don't know is the honest answer. Does O'Connor want it to be on the end of the season? I really, really don't know. Would he want it? I'm not sure. He's got an awful lot going on outside the club as well as inside the club as well. He runs a really successful academy, which is just going from strength to strength. It's doing yeah. really, really well. Um, he came in. He came in. Is my understanding to help his mate Dean Keats. That was my understanding of it. He's been thrust into this position now. It'll be very, very interesting. It seems at the moment it'll be for these five games. Um, I think fans want an outsider to come in. Okay. You look at the last couple of appointments. You've had John Whitney, of course, who pretty much did every job at the Banks' stadium before becoming manager. We've gone down the legends route with Dean Keats. It hasn't worked, unfortunately. I think a lot of fans feel the club needs shaking. It needs someone with an outside influence to come in. So I think that's potentially the way the club will go. There's some candidates alongside O'Connor with club ex Walsall experience who would be very good candidates. You look at the likes of A.D. Vyavash would be a good candidate, David Kelly, Dean Holden, who's at Bristol mm -hmm. City. So, But I do think potentially there's a chance someone outside the club will come in so it's really difficult to know look if Martin O'Connor wins the next five games and Walsall play some sensational football mm -hmm. and they stay up comfortably it's going to be hard to rule him out it's going to be hard to, for them not to get the job but I think really at this moment in time everyone sees it as a five game project and then just to stay up try so, and stay up and then 
after those five games, it'll be assessed and we'll go from there. And of course now, you know, performance is out the window, it's all about results. Next two games, Accrington, Stanley and Southend, two teams are both down there, although mm. it's very tight. So there are a lot of teams who are kind of down there. Um, you know, he that's the sort of start he would be hoping for, maybe, fixture-wise. Yeah, I mean, I mean, you have to say Keats, one, one of the things he was really, really unlucky with was the fixture list. Yeah. Um, they had that mini revival, didn't they, which included that win over Fleetwood. Um, the draw at Burt and and then and he's been sucker punch really with mm. the fixtures Portsmouth, Sunderland, Barnsley, Doncaster momentum in football is everything they've gone on a poor run they've been beaten by Oxford O'Connor you'd have to say if he could hand pick fixtures yeah he would have these ones wouldn't yeah. he um, it's only really Peterborough Peterborough the only team they're playing in the last five games that are up at the top end of the table so yeah. I mean, Accrington at the weekend, there's few teams in worse form than Warsaw. Accrington are in worse form than yeah. Warsaw, I mean, and that does take some doing at the minute. So, I mean, that is a massive game. It's a massive game, it's a must win. You'd look, that is the fixture you want. If you can't win that game or certainly can't get a result, then you deserve to go down, really. They've got to get something at the weekend, Warsaw. And then the South End game is on the Good Friday, if I'm yes. right, thinking. Yes, at the Banks. Is. Yeah, that yeah. is four huge days, isn't it? Yeah. With a game on the Monday as well. So yeah, Easter weekend. Easter weekend. Huge. So absolutely massive. Um, and unfortunately, now no margin for error mm. really um, for for anyone. We've sort of got themselves in this position, and 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 the way teams are playing around them means that they just have to pick up results, and they don't have no choice anymore. No, it will certainly be very interesting for Walsall in these last final five games. Will Martin O'Connor do it for the Saddlers? For all the latest Walsall news, please log on to expressandstar.com.